I read Paul Hawkins' book, The Ecology of Commerce, the summer of 1994. In his book, Paul charges business and industry as one, the major culprit in causing the decline of the biosphere, and two, the only institution that is large enough and pervasive enough and powerful enough to really lead humankind out of this mess. And by the way, he convicted me as a plunderer of the earth. And I then challenged the people of Interface, my company, to lead our company and the entire industrial world to sustainability, which we defined as eventually operating a petroleum-intensive company in such a way as to take from the earth only what can be renewed by the earth naturally and rapidly, not another fresh drop of oil, and to do no harm to the biosphere. Take nothing, do no harm. I simply said, if Hawking is right in business and industry must lead, who will lead business and industry? Unless somebody leads, nobody will. It's axiomatic, why not us? You know, I used to say the corporations have to lead, and that's still true, but it's even more important if the corporations don't come aboard, it's over mm -hmm. for humankind. I mean, it's absolutely imperative that, that the corporate world realize the impacts, the negative impacts that's happened on the environment and figure out how to move to a, a positive place. This is sustainability in action. And believe me, I could go on and on and on with examples of new thinking. 11 years of this kind of new thinking and innovation combined with a determination to abandon the comfort of the status quo can produce unimagined results. Yet it does not come naturally, only through extraordinary commitment. The status quo is a powerful opiate, is it not? Breaking institutional inertia, we've always done it this way, is hard. Yet I know an industrial company that did make that break in the total, absolute, wholehearted pursuit of sustainability and in the process is completely transforming itself.